each morning on Spirit Radio. Passion for life. Ireland's only Christian radio station is celebrating its fourth anniversary. Spirit Radio went on the air at the height of an economic recession. We are a listener-supported radio, so to be looking for support from people at a time when they've been really pressed has been really tough going. The top stories this hour. The HSE is considering... We say uh, we don't believe in miracles, we depend on them. <laughs> and uh, really, you know, it's the grace of God that's kept us going. And it's the generosity of people. The station now has over 200,000 weekly listeners. 40 people make up its staff, many of whom are volunteers. They include members of several Christian denominations. We are the only station where the presenters, you know, might move from discussing, you know, something in pop media, the movies, to sharing a little thought that, you know, reflects their Christian faith. I would scour websites, you know, from like Christian Today in the UK to Vatican News websites. It would be very important for us to emphasise Christian news and news that other stations aren't covering. As a journalist, I feel just from my past experience, oftentimes I did find it hard to cover issues in a balanced way. You know, there was a lot of exterior pressure. So I really feel on spirit, I'm able to regain my journalistic integrity, if you like, and uh, cover issues with truth, honesty and integrity. Spirit makes a point of highlighting those on the edges of society, the homeless, the lonely, those who are depressed. They don't even themselves feel that their voice is worthwhile. Of course, yeah, I suppose that's the, you know, they feel like um, they're worthless, they feel like they have no uh, valid opinions. When people are suicidal, they are often moving away from key relationships. But one of the last things that they turn off is the radio. On Spirit Radio, passion for life. Um, so we know that, that, that the radio is a kind of a companion uh, that's continually trying to point people toward the source of hope. Uh, you know, which, who is Jesus Christ? We're trying to show the relevance of Christian faith to the ordinary business of life. And, uh, you know, the feedback that we get is, you know, you're not what I expected you to be. And, and we take that as a, you know, as a tremendous encouragement, really. Have you heard one of that song? You know, getting in text messages and emails from people of all faiths and none. You know, people, we got a message in the other day from someone who accidentally fell on spirit and he's not changing that station because it's brought him positivity, it's brought him hope.